How powerful is awareness in regards to life change? I was listening to a podcast the other day and this person was talking about how crucial awareness is. And by the end of the podcast, I was not really convinced at all about what they were saying. It sounded a little too much like that psychobabble that I used to teach. <laughs> Don't you love it? You're tuned in to David Essel's Daily Video Boost, your exclusive online video community, giving you thoughts and ideas. Take notes. Don't trust this because you guess you know where I'm going with this, right? So I, I was told that there was a person that was going to be speaking that had this great, great concept of goal achievement and so I'm always interested in learning, and God, if anyone has known me for a number of years, you know I've radically changed my teachings, I've, be- I've changed my belief systems, I've changed a lot, especially in the last 28 years. Oh my God, what I used to teach 28 years ago, probably a large percent of it is out the window. So I'm listening to it, and this person kept saying, all it takes is awareness. You know, as long as you're aware that you need to change, you will change. As long as you're aware that there's something you're doing that has to stop, you will stop. Awareness is the key. And I'm sitting there listening, waiting for the punchline. I'm waiting for, there's got to be something more than this, something more than this, and there wasn't. And that was it. And the whole thing was about how we need to become more aware. And then, of course, the words that I really back away from that I used to love to share, you know, awakening and enlightenment comes from awareness and all this kind of stuff. And I just wanted to say, shoot me. Not that the person's a bad person, but that that kind of stuff, that kind of that kind of lingo lectures that's filled with all kinds of flowers and daffodils and puppy dog tails is really sweet and kind to listen to, but it's not going to get us anywhere in life, quite frankly. You can be as aware as you want about, about alcoholism, about overeating. You can be as aware as you want about struggling with money. You can be as aware as you, of you, as you want about what you need to do to change your life, but if you don't do a damn thing, ain't nothing changing, unless it's a miracle, right? Awareness isn't going to change a thing. As a matter of fact, you know, I tell the story in our brand new book, Focus, I tell the story in this book about this woman I was working with, just a great, great human being that had struggled with alcoholism for a a, a long, long time, number of years. And we were getting some breakthroughs and then she went to this weekend workshop and there was this spiritual guru that was saying, you know, you're aware that you need to change? Yes, just let it be. When you drink, don't feel ashamed of drinking. Don't feel guilty about drinking. If God wants you to change, you'll change. You're aware that you need to change. That's enough. Let God do the rest. What did I (laughs) just hear, right? It's like, wow, isn't that great? Can you imagine if this spiritual teacher was out there speaking to groups across the country, which they might be, who struggle with addiction? And that's what we want to hear, right? You're aware you need to change It'll come if it's supposed to. It's like, hell no, dude. If you're aware you have a problem with food or alcohol, yeah, it'll come to change when you have a screeching stroke or heart attack or you kill someone or your partner leaves you. Yeah, sure. That awareness will get you real far. And it won't do a damn thing unless you're willing to do the work. So, But I do agree awareness is crucial because I lived in denial for so long with my addiction to cocaine and addiction to alcohol. I justified, denied, defended, rationalized why I could use all that. I was aware, but the awareness was a lower level. When we bring it up, I'll tell you how you know if awareness is working for you. Awareness is working if you're doing something radically different now than you did yesterday. Then your awareness is working. If your awareness is working, if you make the call and hire a professional to get you back on track, that's how we know awareness is working. Awareness is working is when you keep it on the front burner and you keep talking to people about it in the beginning, like, you know, this is really bothering me. I need to change this. And maybe those people will turn around one day and go, well, then damn it, change it. (laughs) Okay, because that's how awareness is effective. Step one, awareness. But it ain't enough to change unless it's a miracle. Don't forget to let your friends and family know that we are on the air for them as well. Get them to sign up for the boost at talkdavy.com. One of the purposes of these videos is to trigger and push buttons and get you to become more aware and to take action on that awareness. It's so easy to sit back and just sort of relax at the 50 or 100 or 200 pounds we are overweight or the constant struggle with money and you know but but I want to make you aware that things have to change and then get you to take the action steps to change comprende let's work together you and I will kick butt it's all guaranteed either email me via this video right here or through our website at talkdavid.com okay have a great day